Hello, today I'm going to show you uh, the Stromberg Carlson XY and uh, if you had a chance to play with it, describe to you how the calls actually get to it. Uh, first of all, we have DSL here and that, that feeds this uh, asterisk PBX which comes out with uh, a T1 PRI, basically an ISDN PRI that talks to the Millennium here, which talks to the other switch, the XY, which is out in the garage over an e um, analog E&M trunks. And all we have to do is dial the access code and uh, we are connected with the XY. Or we can call individual XY extensions. And it, out it out pulses into the XY. Okay, with that, we're going to head out to the garage and I'll show you the actual XY switch itself. Garage is my workshop. We do a lot of electronic work. And we're first greeted by the power system. It's a 48 volt battery plant. And uh, it runs the asterisk off of the off of an inverter, so that no no problems ever happen with that when the power goes out here, which is frequently since we're in California. And in any case, here's what you've been waiting for. This is the view of the XY switch, one side of it anyway. I've got the covers off down below so you can see the interrupter. I call it the rotisserie because that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I'll lift the receiver on the one phone here on the XY and you can see that this all starts going. You have reorder tone, busy tone, various ringtones and timers. Then there's the vibrating reed which is the ring generator. I hope you can see that. I'll hang it up here so that it all stops. You can see that we're charging at about 54 volts. And there's no current. There's hardly any current even when I pick up the receiver. These are truck units here. I'll dial 8 to go get a Millennium. You can see that I'm connected to the Millennium now and it just repeats whatever digits I dial and I'll hang up. We've got a uh, wall phone for, the, uh, for testing with the XY wall phone for the Millennium and all the terminations for it. Uh, we've got a, a coupler up here on the right. That's what happens if you call uh, extension 12. It will answer and play radio, which is coming from this Toyota car radio right here. I uh, have a key system that runs the uh, phones in this room. Underneath that is a Harris PBX, which we're about to bring online. And there's also uh, a Mitel we're going to bring online here shortly. And we have to hook up this Iraqi payphone as well. That's not uh, currently not hooked up. May have to go back to Iraq to get some uh, cards for it. But uh, we have all different types of telephones here. Uh, we'll be setting up various ones for the, for the lab, for the museum, if you will. Um, got my bell system practices here. Inside the box here, I don't know if you can see it, is a touchomatic, five line touchomatic. A uh, little bit of everything here. Let me go around. We'll walk around the XY. And you can kind of see some of the stuff. I'll make a call. There's a phone here next to my dryer. And we'll uh, make a call. There's, with XY, you can't see a whole lot moving, unfortunately, because it's all inside. Maybe we can catch something here. It's extension 11. And not much to see there. It is ringing. And we'll answer it. And uh, we'll hang up on it.
as I said, A to get you into the millennium. Extension numbers are two digits. So that's about it. I'll show you the lab here real, real fast. Not much to see. The workbench, really. Um, basically, a lot of just strange things that uh, have to do with uh, my life and telephones and playing around with all this stuff. Did you know that network radio pro programs come over telephone wires? Shocking. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's about all for now. Thanks for visiting. Uh, I'll try to do something a little better next time. Um, but then you can see the uh, see what you're playing with. If you call 805-741-2600, uh, you can play with this XY switch. You'll hear a dial tone, and you can dial two digits at that point. Anyway, thanks for uh, checking in with us.